a lot of people wonder, how does the music get into the computer and then onto the music sheets afterwards? Well, we used to have to write it out with a pencil and a piece of paper, but now we've got the computer and the piano. And this is my lovely Roland piano keyboard, 88 keys, weighted, it sounds perfect. And here is my software program. My software program is called Finale. And the way it works is like if you're typing on your keyboard, this is your regular keyboard right here, if you're typing, you type like that and the words come up on the screen and then you can print out your piece of paper. Okay, so here I have my, each one of these number keys means a different length of note, a quarter note, an eighth note, and so on. And here we have the keys for uh, the pitches on the piano. So I'm going to play just a little something and you'll see it. You'll see it over here. So Tom, can you see me? Can you see the paper? Okay, we're good. Alrighty. So here I go, I play C, quarter note, C, quarter note, G, quarter note, E, quarter note, again. And now I'm gonna make that, do that same thing and I'm gonna play eighth notes. Okay, now, now let's see how it sounds. Our lovely composition here. So now what I'm going to do, I just press, there's a little thing here that says play, and I'm going to play. Okay, see it, it doesn't take too long, but so you have to think about what it is you want to write first, because otherwise you will get really, really, you'll be really sad. So let's just take a little listen to, uh, I'll explain this thing. Here is the piece from the mitten called the boar, which I is one of my favorites because I love tubas. That's that big, big brass instrument. I really like them. Um, here I have a big monitor so that I can see all the music because one of the things that's hard to do when you're writing music is to get it so that it looks nice on the paper. And toward the, the end of the time when I'm finishing the piece, then I have the the full score up on this monitor. And then on this monitor, I make uh, another place so that I can see it and I can make the music big. I just have to make it. So I can, I can, I can make it really big, see? And so now it's about the right, the right size so that I can hear it. So let's just, let's just hear how it sounds when I play it. And we're going to start in measure six because, as you know, uh, and if you listen to the music already, you know that at the beginning it's just me or Danielle talking. If you're listening to Spanish, it's Danielle, and if you're listening to English, it's me. So now we're going to hear the tuba as it sounds on the, on the uh, computer. Wasn't that fun? I love to do that. Uh, but I'll tell you what, if you're a composer, you have to know how it sounds already before you write it down. And that's why, you know, remember when I talked about the birthday party and you decided we have chocolate cake with chocolate frosting or white cake with chocolate frosting and you have to decide what the flavor you want. And the boar is a big, fat, wild pig. And I thought that tuba sounded, oh, just like that, oh, oh, he's a big pig and he's round and yummy. And we put him in the computer and he comes out the other side and eventually we have a nice CD for children to listen to. Thanks so much for coming to the studio.